going on everybody this is my callium here with apron and so this is a little overview one of our favorite play to earn projects currently deployed on polygon are you recording yeah this is a screen record right now and it'll do the mic record too mm -hmm. that's correct it's just here this this particular window and so right there what we are at is the page here for matic mic and so here's our actual home page great website good art style just good colors good ui works real well uh, we're going to go be going to the main menu and we're going to see the club lords because we're going to demonstrate one of the you already did it right what the burn I haven't done anything yet oh all no. right and so we're going to go through and demonstrate what one of the neatest features of manic mike is right now it's just the feature of the burn reroll. and so this is an expansion that he's done on the original project the evil club lords and so if you had an original matic mic you had the opportunity to stake your mic and that's what all of this down here that we're going to be looking at is these here are st staked mics. Except for your green hair, he's ready to come and out. Green hair is ready to exit the club. Get him out of there, man. <laughs> he's been dancing for God knows how many hours. He's, he's done his job. And so what has he done? He has been staked. So he was here originally available for summoning. And then upon staking, he goes down here into this box for currently summoning. And these are the hour counts of all those individual mics that they still have yet to complete before they summon their evil club lords. And so I've had one guy already finish his his term and this was what he produced. He produced evil club lord number 51 um, currently with these particular traits. Not in hell. Good, good traits to have in general. <laughs> And so purple devil body, uh, but apron has been doing some experimentation with the burn rerolls and seeing some of the other traits and, and the available options. And so now with some reference, I feel a little more comfortable moving forward with demonstrating the burn reroll on my first club. You're not so scared to lose this guy. Not so scared to lose this guy. You only live once. Yeah, left left hoop piercings, no crown, uh, low po low power level in my opinion. Like simple. I said, the, the highest I've seen is 444. Simple parrot. Yeah, for a friend. So th you could definitely take a shot at reburning or burning this guy for another one. Do it. Okay. And so here was his traits. That was his power level. So we're gonna hit burn for 10 HGH. And so this is using the in-game token HGH, uh, and it's gonna literally burn this version of this NFT. You haven't done any yet, right? I haven't done any yet. So we have 10. Max that we could use right now. Yeah, 10, 10 burn rerolls that you can do on any one evil club lord that gets summoned. Uh, so you have to just decide when you're happy about what you have. But it costs 10 HGH, right? Per go. And how do you get HGH? The easiest way to get HGH is by staking your Matic mics in the gym, and they generate one HGH a day per mic. There you go. So right now we're not earning any HGH. Because they're over here summoning. Summoning. And so it'd be nice to send 1539 back to being able to be staked in the gym and earning HGH yeah. again. Because once you get Gobbling your lords, <laughs> yeah, once you get all your lords, God forbid you have to reroll all of them. Yeah. Okay. So, so all right, here's, here's what the burn reroll looks like. So there he is. We see, we know what he is all about. We're gonna hit burn. Transactions gonna come up. Thank the Lord. Matic Mr. prices. <laughs> Matic prices are back to normal now for 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 guests. Uh, we have survived the sunflower storm of 2022. Oh. Okay, so we're going to send that through. We're going to see what we get. This is exciting. There are very few projects that I've come across, if any, that allow you to take an existing NFT that you already have with with traits already assigned and like truly re-roll it. Just, just ran randomly. Just throw it back. Randomly re- Hit me, re you know? Rebirth it. There's our transaction. Good old Matic. The other thing you'll see here too on the left side with these currently summoning mics that I still have, like this guy here, 2903, he's got nine hours left. You have the choice to be able to inject these with one, five, or 10 HGH per 24 hour cycle, and that will reduce the hours required left for summoning by the amount of HGH to inject one hour, one HGH, 10 hours, 10 HGH. Okay, I'm gonna hit the old familiar F5 here. Oh, well that's nice. Damn. <laughs> so there we go, that's gonna be 
number 750 now. You probably stay there, huh? I kind of feel like I want to because that's a pretty Gold nice chain. roll there. Gold chain squid game. What is a squid game? <laughs> it, there's, there's, <laughs> there's story behind that. Not much change on the power level, gotta be honest. Still in that 427. No crown. Yeah. You know, nice topical face, and I like that, but the body's not that impressive to me, and I sure would like a crown. And that so power level is still Fuck it. questionable. Throw him back, man. What I didn't realize, and it's important to, to note this, and it is something to consider, right? is like when you do this it does reassign your unit number yeah and so i went from number 51 there to 750 and so if you care at all about your unit number top be aware. 10 or bus honestly yeah. and well just be aware that your burn reroll or your does favorite change football your player number yeah well i do have like number four is about to come due and so i will have to Damn, consider yeah so i'll have to consider well and actually uh no, let's see here he was down one of my first guys Number four, yeah. yeah. And so, like, number four, as he draws, may be worth considering to hold on to because there will never be another token ID at that at that specific. Which is true of every ID, but still. If what about this nine hours guy? Weren't you going to inject him to... We'll demonstrate that. Yeah, we'll do that in a second. So, um, I guess we could do that right now. Yeah, go ahead and do get this. Get one in the mix, and then that way I can kind of sit on this guy for a second. I think I'm going to re-roll this one, but yeah. let's see. So here's number 49. So again, a number that I don't feel is... Well, it doesn't matter. He'll hold his number. It'll come out as number 49 because it's the first completion. So he's got nine hours remaining. I'm going to inject him with 10 HGH. That should obviously uh, overwhelm the amount of time left required. This one, I'm going to beef it up just a little bit here. And so he disappears off of my currently summoning tab there because now he's below the threshold and so it's likely a summoned evil club lord at this particular stage so we'll give everything just a second oh there, there you go. it goes there's your crown <laughs> well there's my crown and my swords Damn. asking you shall receive so i got the deal with the shades the vampire body at number 49 that's what do you think bad, over under on the power level over over that guy no over under let's say 430 Oof. Over under 4.30. Over 4.30. Over 4.30. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. 4.38 is pretty strong. It's not bad. Compared to this other guy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the nice thing here, too, is that you can do this burn reroll at a later time. Like, there's no time window that makes me have to do this once I've started the first one. I could come back in two weeks and decide, you know what, I don't like this one. I'm going to go ahead and just reburn it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's open-ended. It's just until you've done 10. And so you could choose later, after the rarity is better mapped, hey, you know what, this guy's actually a dud. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and reset on this one. Well, honestly, I think power level kind of correlates to rarity. Because the better the, the category... Yeah, it's, the, it's how it's rolled. Yeah, it's how it's deciding it. Yeah. And so here's, like, here's at least a character that doesn't have any nothings. There's no nothings on there. There's at least a trait present in every category. Compared, you know, compared that to... To here, no piercings, no crown, lower power level. So I think that's a prime example, and so for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and reroll my squid game here. What time is a uh, Hefe supposed to stream? I think he said seven, nine Eastern. I think. Yeah, he should be streaming now. Yeah. Let's see. Tune into Hefe at some point. There's tossing him back. Good luck, brother. We'll reset and see what we get. We get anxiety. <laughs> Rugged. Dev for this project's made it very clear time and time again too that every single feature of this game is all done on chain, and that's that's a very uh, unique and innovative feature. So for that reason, it just does take time for the chain to settle things out sometimes.
Where'd you go, Mr. Club Lord? Oh, you're kidding. That's funny. Mm. Two vamps with the stash. I ain't got no stash on the other one. No, no, no. Two vamps, but now I got this oh. one here with the stash. Oh, weak! Yuck. No tattoos. Nothing on his back. Oh, a man. gross mustache oh. and a terrible power level. So this poor guy never stood a chance. Send him to the gulag. And you guys, you'll notice there that 2903 is now available to exit the club as well. And so these mics have done their duty. Let's see if we can get another one here recorded. That'd be a good demonstration of what he's got built over here. Now we're getting somewhere. Blue crown. Man, I cannot break that freaking ceiling here. Well, send it back. What is that? Number I don't know. Two, three, four. This one right here is number four. This Six is my chance. This is my fourth version of this particular. Evil Club Lord, and I'm not happy, so it's getting rolled. I know there's one more waiting out there for me. Five left. <laughs> as long as you have an opportunity to get above a, a what do you think, 430? Mm hmm. Get above a 430, and then you at least can consider it for retention. Taking, yeah, taking them off the table. Until until like, like, like this guy. Out. This yeah. guy's very nice. I can handle that. It's decent enough. It looks good. The traits are nice. The power level is useful. Good, good club lord here. Not an unreasonable uh, club master. Yeah, we got something interesting here. Do you have to reroll? So he's got the blood teardrop. He's got the demon cat. Uh, he is an albino devil. And then he does have that blue tier crown, and that is that is kind of high level on the crown work. Yeah, not bad. Not into it. Got five more chances, man. You gotta, you gotta believe, right? Gotta believe. Who did I just give away? Fifty one, number fifty one, number forty nine is lower than that anyway. <laughs> Better. And I get my credit. For... 49, that's that's probably some good fullbacks number. Yeah, it's something useful. Transaction number 7,741 yeah, transaction. I don't know how you have that many transactions. Oh, well, game, game five is going to take me to 10,000 like there's nothing yeah, to it. Yeah, this was all before game five. <laughs> this was just DeFi. We'll see who we get. Ooh, okay. That's not bad. <sighs> Gosh. It looked good. It just... It looked good. Four left. Now it's getting to the point where I'm glad I've got ten other mics doing this for me. And each mic is eligible to summon two evil club lords throughout his lifespan. The first one costing 25 HGH as a staking cost, the second one costing 50 HGH as a staking cost. So every, every mic has the opportunity to produce two possessed evil club lords, um, and you could burn each one for a max of 10 burn rerolls. So you could have your choice of 20 possible club lords per mic. That's that's a wild feature. Just the opportunity to have like selection. I am um, being teased on this power level. No joke. And so I have now committed to run this one to the wall. And yep. So we're gonna burn all 10 of these sons of guns. This is a make or break. 
we are gonna get what the chain gives us. <laughs> Unless the next one's OP. <laughs> I'll stop right then. <laughs> There's a varied amount of staking hours required to summon an evil club lord. It's between two and four weeks in total. And so I think two weeks in hours is something like 336 hours or something like that. So the lowest you could roll is like a 336 to begin with. And then you could shave 10 hours a day off of that with the, with the injection of the 10 HGH. And the longest, whatever, four weeks by hours is. And so I still have some in here that you'll see are like in that 350 versus like 15 hours. So it's a pretty big spread there. It's two to four weeks of overall window is what you're contending with. Now what do you think? Close. Not gonna do it. I gotta keep pushing until the button tells me I can't no more. I think this is eight. I'm gonna chill with this guy. I think 49 is just fine. Yeah, I'm happy with the crown, happy with swords, happy with my life. 430 is pretty high too. That's a pretty good one. And he's even got the demon chain. The demon chain. Dang, I, I haven't seen that. Yeah. Oh, it's got the yeah. upside down. Yeah, uh-huh. That's pretty cool. It's a good one. He's got a trait in every category. That's a nice one. Oh, there it is. Probably stick with that one. I think I'm gonna stick with this uh, one. Uh, so let's over, just not get over 4:30. Yes, over 4:30 because you I want, need it to yeah. be. <laughs> it looks like it should be over 4:30, right? Oh, <laughs> it's a push. Nobody wins. I'll keep it. That's a red devil body, blue tear on the crown. No piercings, weak on that. Too bad. Uh, bands on both the arms, got the evil stash, not my favorite face feature, but it is creepy, so that suits the evil club lord. Got the demon cat, and then that silver chain. That power level just snuck in right there at the base acceptance, and I'll take I'll take the red devil. Congrats, dude. Uh, well, there's you, you the, did it. There's the burn reroll. Thank you. Thank you, VRF. We yeah. will continue to sacrifice. And I mean, Lord forbid, you know, later on I could come back and do two more attempts yeah. on trying to hit perfection there. And so the burn is an opportunity and a tempt all at the same time so awesome project very very excited about what they got going on over here if you haven't uh, played with it or used it or used the dance royales or summoned or anything like that take a look because i've been really excited and happy with the community that's operating over here the dev dev work is top notch and i like the features polygon for the win